In this video, I'll write Lewis dot symbols for a couple of reactions that result in ionic bonds. First, the ionic bond is where we have a transfer of electrons. So losing electrons from one element or from one atom and gaining electrons on another element. So a transfer of electrons. And when you lose or gain electrons in an atom, that forms an ion. So therefore, it is called an ionic bond. Sr plus N2 yields Sr3 N2, strontium plus nitrogen gas. First, let's balance this. So we throw a 3 in front of the strontium. And now to write the Lewis dot symbols, I am going to do this below so I have a little bit more room. I've got three strontiums. And the Lewis dot symbols, what those are, is telling us how many electrons we have, how many valence electrons we have, so outer electrons. So strontium has two valence electrons. And let me write the, uh, the dot structure for the nitrogen, and then I can talk a little bit about paired and unpaired electrons. So three strontiums plus two nitrogens, and the Lewis dot symbol for nitrogen is like so. And here's the way we read this. Uh, we have either paired, paired electrons, or unpaired. So you can see that they're either together or or just sitting out by itself. And you can have a total of eight valence electrons, so two on each side. Here we have two for strontium and five for nitrogen. If it's unpaired, then you can think of it as these electrons are free to go. So strontium can give up those electrons. And, and here for nitrogen, those, those areas where you have unpaired electrons, that's where it could accept some electrons. So, finishing this equation with the Lewis dot symbols, let's write our three strontium. And then, hey, we've lost our electrons. We've lost those two, so we don't write those. So the Lewis dot symbol for the SR2+. plus. That is, if you lose two electrons, then you have a positive charge of two. Plus, what happens to nitrogen? Well, we gained a lot of electrons. And actually, nitrogen has the three minus. The nitrogen ion has three minus, so it gains three electrons. So I'm not going to write just five valence electrons. I'm going to write eight valence electrons in this Lewis, Lewis dot symbol. So does this all work out? Losing two and gaining three? Hey, but we have these coefficients. So ultimately, this has lost six. Three times two has lost six electrons. And two times three is six. And so the nitrogen has gained. Not, not each nitrogen atom, but, but for every two nitrogen atoms or ions, we have gained six electrons. OK. So that's the basics of the Lewis dot symbol. Let's do it a little bit quicker with aluminum and sulfur. Al plus S yields Al2S3. First, let's balance that. We need two aluminums and three sulfurs. Now to the Lewis dot symbols. We'll do that below. So two aluminums. And aluminum has the dot symbol like... So, three valence electrons, or and none of them are paired, so three available. So you might be looking for an Al3 plus down the road in the products. Plus three sulfurs, and sulfur has a lot of valence electrons. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, notice that only two of those valence electrons are unpaired, so it can accept 
two electrons. So look for an S2 minus on the other side of this equation. Let's see. Now we still have our two aluminum, but we gave up all three electrons. We don't draw those purple dots, and we have a three plus because we've given up. We've lost three electrons for every aluminum ion. Plus three sulfurs, three sulfur ions, three S, and we are gaining the two here that we could. So I'm gonna, going to write a total of eight dots to represent eight valence electrons now. And we've picked up two electrons, so we write two minus. Let's color code that. Let's stay with the yellow here. Two minus for the sulfur ion, S2 minus. So there is the basics of the ionic bond and the Lewis dot symbols to show that. And again, by the way, this is... Uh, losing six and gaining six or losing three per aluminum ion but but it has uh, we have two aluminum ions for for this equation all right i hope that was helpful if you did find this helpful as always consider liking it or sharing it with one of your best friends